To another anime episode review. I am the rat, and this is the rat's nest. I'm joined as always by Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. Hello, everyone. We are here. It is. It's. It's time to to arise, as as some might in fact say. Kyle and I today are going to be discussing the newest anime on the block. Only I level up. It's my my favorite show of all time. I'm not calling it that. I'm calling it solo leveling. Like solo leveling. So, this is a pretty good, pretty good episode one. Before we start, let's go ahead and and get the dynamic here established. So, if you've watched some of my videos before, which is uh, unlikely, but thank you for being here anyways. If you have, I do appreciate it. Uh, what we like to do. Uh, with anime is we like to watch stuff where one of us knows something and, and the other one doesn't and the past couple of seasons we've done that with a couple different anime we did Mishoku Tensei then we did Shield Hero now we are doing it with solo leveling so I have completely read the entire manual of solo leveling I know everything that's going to happen as far as my memory permits I admittedly do not have a perfect memory uh, and Kyle has never read or seen anything about it well you, he's seen stuff about it but not he, he has he hasn't read it right so so this so was here my we first are. exposure to it this is the first ever exposure i've had to the series other than the name yeah and so here we are look look at us look at us huh what, what a what a what a goofy band of, of adventurers we are here watching solo leveling so kyle i'll ask you as our resident new guy what do you think about episode one I I'm, I was pretty enthralled with it. I was pretty engaged with what was going on, you know. I because I I didn't know what to expect from it. Uh, I'm first of all, I'm happy that it's not an isekai per se. Uh, Shield Hero has burnt me out on isekai for the time being. So just just having this be like a fictional story, you know, just like a regular fictional story. I like that. Uh, the the premise, the setup to it is pretty cool. You know, the, these gates are opening up, monsters are attacking. Uh, when these gates have opened, uh, some people awaken to these different abilities. They're hunters with the Hunter Association. They use Nen. Wait, wrong series. Whoa. Uh, when and when uh, you get your powers, you are given a rank based on how strong you are. It's S A B C D, with the lowest possible one being E. And cool. that's what our main character, Sung, has. He is an E rank who is pretty not great. He is very weak, very incompetent, but, and you know, we can talk about more about this as we go more into the episode. I like why he's there. You know, you, you would think like, okay, you're like, you, you can't do anything while you're there. And it's like, well, he's just trying to provide. And I respect that. There's a lot of other stuff too. You know, I, I like I like how they set up some of the the world building, I guess I'd call it, with why the government and why the Hunter Association is even like doing this. You know, with trying to get the crystals as an energy source. But that's all. That I'll say just that for now, and then we could talk about it like like scene by scene. Uh but yeah, no episode episode one was pretty good. Yeah. So as the resident uh, knower, right. Having, having having known this show, I really really enjoyed episode one. Uh, obviously, they added a little bit of stuff just to make it you know more you know we get to see a little bit of action at the beginning. Um, oh, like you you know like like I know exactly what that like the second I saw it three years ago I knew exactly what it was, um, and I was like I was like that's cool it, was, it just gives us a little introduction uh, to kind of seeing okay some of the powers you know we get to see uh, some little. S ranks fighting, uh, you know that was said in an episode. That's not a spoiler. Um, it, was, it was like a one-off line, but that that was said. So we get to yeah. see some S ranks well, fighting. Said, oh, the S ranks are here. Yeah. Oh, you know we, we get to see that. You know, get to see a little bit of that. Then we get the exposition, uh, and I think everything is done really, really well. Um, I also love the art style uh, because some of you know, not obviously you, you take a screenshot of the anime, it's not going to look as good as the manual looked. Uh, but the art style itself is very, very similar to it. Uh, and I really, really uh, enjoy getting to see that. Um, 
obviously weird um, to see it finally be animated. And I'd say almost weird to hear it in Japanese. Like, I might, like, on my own time, I might legitimately have to check out the Korean dub. Um, Just to see. Yeah. And so this is an interesting fact about the anime, Kyle. So, obviously, made by a Japanese studio, um, the story still takes place in Korea. Um, and all the names are Korean, obviously, right? Yeah. There exists two versions of this anime. Really? One, which is the one we watch. This is the international version. This is the one where it's uh, in Japanese and all their names are the same Korean names. You know, you got Sung Jin Woo, uh, Go Gun Hee, Cha uh, you know, the, all, 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 all the crews, all, all, all the crews is here, right? Mm. Got all of them like that. There also exists a version that is the Japanese version, the the version that airs in Japan. With Japanese names. They change the names, the Japanese names, exactly. And like, that's so weird. <laughs> I was, I was, I, whenever I saw that they were changing the names, I was like, there's, I was like, there's no way. I was like, are we going to have to wait? Like, are we going to have to legit wait for like the dub to hear the correct names? No, I'm glad they're doing it. But yeah, so they changed Sung Jin Woo's name to like M- Mizuhono or something. Cool, awesome. I mean, that, that's so weird. And like, okay. I, I don't know if they changed the story to where it takes place in Japan instead of Korea, which that's a very interesting choice, uh, because that you'd have to change some stuff later. Um, I'm guessing there's a lot. You of know, I mean, ge- geography weird. matters. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Very interesting choice there. Um, but it's just like, that's so weird. Cause that's like, imagine if David pro with like parts one and two of Jojo's went back and changed like Jonathan Joe star to like, uh, Satoshi Mizukami or something. Momo's bizarre adventure. No freaking way. Like that, that'd be so weird. And like, I saw yeah, someone like uploaded crazy. the entire like Japanese version to YouTube. So I, I, what you call it? I got to, I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, no freaking way. I was like, I was like, I got to see the names. So I, I watched the, the first little bit of it. And whenever Sung Jin Woo came in, uh, there was. What's Jyoti's name? Mm, uh, I cannot remember her full name. Mm. Because like Sung Jin Woo, I just say Sung Jin Woo. Like, like that's like, I just say his full name. I'd say most people probably say Jin Woo because it, it's Korean names are like Japanese names where like, uh, like like in the English version of the of the novel that I have, his name is Jin Woo Sung, which is real like that's how it's typed. And that is really weird. So I'm just so used to just being Sung Jin Woo. And that's just that that flows off the tongue. Right. That's good. And like yeah. Go Gun Hee. Like that's just, that like the full thing just flows off the tongue. Cha Hyun. Like it just it just flows off the tongue. I'm probably butchering Cha Hyun, honestly. I've never oh, we're heard. Gonna, we're gonna butcher these names. Never heard it anyone pronounce it before. I'm just going off of how I've always pronounced it in my head. But um, yeah, it's so weird that they did that because, like, just just keep the foreign names. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe maybe, maybe they were jelly that a that a Korean artist uh, did did made made better anime than they did. And fun fact: so to give you a time frame for this anime, not for the anime, like when but it for was, solo when leveling. It was, it was made. originally starting to be like it was it started to be written in February 2014. Oh, okay. Been almost when 10 years it? since it was written, which is kind of crazy. And when um, did it end? Uh, I don't know. I caught up to the end of the manhwa like a year and a half ago or so. Oh, cool. I think. I think. I don't know. Yeah, don't 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 quote me on that. But like I think the manhwa was I will. over for a little bit longer and then I went back and finished it. Um, but I don't remember when exactly the, the novel itself finished. Um, but yeah. So this is like first generation stuff. So like, you know, looking through this, there's some stuff that seems like generic, right? You know, you got the, the hunters association and you got the different ranks and it's like, Oh, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the strongest. I'm the, I'm the weakest hunter. Uh, but only I level up, you know, that, 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 that kind of, that kind of Josh, um, you know, I freaking love only I level up. It's my favorite show ever. Uh, you know, but like, like this is what did it. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a funny joke that's like, um, 
That's like, oh man, I want to I wanna draw a manwa, but uh, my only idea is to copy solo leveling. I don't know what to do. And he's like, oh, I got it. And it's just like extremely raunchy porn. <laughs> yeah, because that, that's what manwas are. <laughs> it's, 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 either, it's, it's, it's either your fetishes it's, or it's solo leveling again. It's it's the picture of like the happy path and like the dark path. <laughs> yeah, the dark path is solo leveling. <laughs> Yeah, so this uh, is an extremely influential series, and I am very, very happy with how episode one was adapted. So, I, mean, I, I have no basis for it, but I, I mean, just it was a, it was a good episode one. Yeah, that's you know, uh, if you don't feel like you were missing anything, and I think it, it, it gave all the information clearly, um, and uh, and effectively, um, you know, I think that it's. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, not. It, it was that it does its job, you know. It's not that complex. It's got a pretty simple bar to entry. You're you're born good or you're not, and that's kind of the status quo. Yeah, I mean, there, there's not really much else that I was like confused on. You know, we could talk about the episode more in depth now, but like in, in terms of like the the big scale stuff, other than the timeline where it was like ten years ago and then or three years ago, ten years like. Other than that, like yeah. I, I got everything. I got, I got I'm picking up what it's laying down. I don't have to explain major plot points like I did in Shield Hero. No, no, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so there's not really much to talk about here. At first, we get to see the little fight against ants on the island. Um, yeah. I was... like what I can say about this is I love the animation. I think I think the animation is really good. Uh, the fighting was simplistic, but it was flashy enough to where it, it held my attention. Yeah. For the little bit it was on screen. Like, it didn't overstay its welcome. Yeah. It was just a little thing to get new viewers into the world and be like, hey, this is this is what the series is going to be about. Yeah, like, hey, there's going to be there's gonna be cool fights with, uh, with, with, with cool dudes and, yeah. and hot Korean men. And I and I like how it's sort of the, the reverse of what you'd expect the Isekai to be, where instead of, of like people going to another world it's otherworldly beings invading earth and i'm just yeah there's just something about that that's just it's enjoyable to see the the shoe on the other foot this time around mm -hmm. yeah it's just cool cool to see and then we get the little flashback uh for like you know we talked about it. i think it's a good setup right um you know you get the portals and the, and the yada yada the gates sorry that's what their gate is the word um, and then you get the, the, the hunters and they're ranked and once you awaken, which we got to see in this episode, that was the guy putting his hand on like the black ball. He had awakened to a hunter and they were, they were measuring yeah. his strength. Once you're awakened, that's it. That's it. Zilt Zada, you're, 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 you're donezo, bud. Get good. Like you, you, can't you have good. your, you have your powers and whatever your powers are, you have like, this, they don't say this, but this is my guess. Like you have like your minimum output, your maximum output. Like there's only there is a limit to your strength. Like you, if you have fire yeah. magic and you go like use your full strength, it can never grow. Like in that moment, it can never be more powerful than that. Mm -hmm. Like you can consistently like reach that cap, but you can never you can never break that limit. Yeah. And then you have uh, was it Sung Jin Win? Sung Jin Woo. It's close. Sung Sung Jin Woo. Yeah. Um. Who I don't know. What, if I had to guess what his power is, not even like this is before you even said it. Uh, my my prediction is that his is just going to be the power to level up. Hence, he is the only person who can level. Hence, solo leveling. I do want to give a clarification uh, mm -hmm. to something real quick, Kyle. Um, awakening as a hunter does not mean you have a certain power. Oh. Yeah, like it's not like everyone has a certain power. Awakening as a hunter could mean a couple of different things. Um, you know, sometimes and like, I mean, I'm admittedly rusty on the system, so I don't want to say too much because I don't want to tell you something wrong, okay, okay. but just in general, whenever you awaken as a hunter, uh, you gain magic to some degree and like physical strength and fortification to a degree. Okay. Okay. Because so you, you the, don't the, have the, your powers defined at that moment. Yeah. It's, it's not like you awaken as a hunter and it's like, oh, I can stop time or I can punch really good or I can uh, hit myself in the head with a frying pan or I'm a car or I'm a stupid sea dragon or I can stop time or I have a void and why didn't I just wait? You know, that kind of thing. It's, it's, it's not like that. You, you awaken as a hunter and like a B rank hunter versus like a C rank hunter is just going to be like, oh, I can 
say use more magic or I'm I'm physically stronger okay, than you. Okay, okay. And... Because what, what, what led me to that impression was whenever it what's the girl's name? Ju Juhi. Yeah, Juhi. Uh, whenever they're like, oh, you have a B rank healer. It's like, okay, so like some people awaken to the healer role, other people yeah. awaken yeah. to like. Mm -hmm. okay. No, that, that that that's definitely it. it they do definitely awaken and have your certain attributes i guess okay but i like but i said i, I, I don't was... want to tell you wrong because it's been so honest i think no, i might I'm go okay. back I'll... and reread the beginning of solo leveling just I'll, so i can be i'll like, wait i'll wait but I, for now... I, I found it but I, I do want to clarify that it's not like you awaken as a hunter and you get a special ability, ability. So it's like like you're not like oh like you're a fire mage you're a fire mage you're a water mage like you awaken it's like you're b rank you're b rank you're c rank and then from yeah. there and like... then you know there there are people that are Stronger in one thing versus in a, you know, you have Juhis who's a, a B rank healer, or you might have like, I don't know, like a B rank like assassin or like a B rank like tank or something. Yeah, yeah. Like people, if two people, people take up different roles. Like fire and water magic, you know, like one B rank might be better at fire magic than another, but the other might be better at like water magic. Yeah. And you can, it's, it's, it's just, it, it wholly depends on the person as to what kind of they get. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's also why they can't develop at all. Like, like you, like, you know, you can yeah. like learn to use what you have better, you know, but that's, that's yeah, more, and that, more that's not going to, that's not going to up your rank, you know? No, no. That like, kind of like being more, it, I mean, it's, I think of it kind of like bending an avatar where like when you awaken to a water bender, like you can, you can hone your, or just any bending. Well, I'm going to upset some people like. You don't get stronger, quote unquote. You get more wise, and you further develop your techniques, and you can be more creative with them. Like you're, like some people are better at putting out more output, but some people are better at strategy with it. So I, I, I that's kind of what I'm thinking of it as. Like you know, you can you can get more creative with it, but you can't get stronger. Yeah. 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 I, I, for... I, I did I did want to clarify that. Um... But yeah, so Sung Jin Woo here, right? Or did you have something else you wanted to say? Oh, no, I, mean, I was going to say, like, except for uh, Sung Jin Woo, who is just a little tiny baby weakling man. Well, a little tiny baby weakling man. Yeah, he's got his little special knife. Um, special broken, like, three rest, hits. Rest in pieces, idiot. Um, you know, and they're going into this gate, which we learn later in the episode is deranked. Um, and yeah, so, so, you know, Obviously, the D-ranked gate, so each gate has a rank. We've heard about E-ranked gates as well. Um, so each each gate has a rank as well. That corresponds to roughly how difficult it's going to be, what kind of monsters will be in there. Um, like, a group of e rank hunters... I'm trying to remember this correctly. Like, probably wouldn't be able to complete a D-ranked dungeon. Yeah, I kind of I kind of Maybe like if they the were ex extremely... Uh, like balance and like there was a ton of them maybe but that's like that's a stretch yeah. typically like whenever you beat a dungeon you're going to want at least a person of that rank there yeah preferably and like you're going to want multiple people of that rank there and preferably someone of above that rank there i kind of i kind of like the fact that they're like, oh, is he really good? And then they're like, no, he sucks. But everyone's happy when he's here because it means it'll be an easy mission. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're like, That's oh, we got, sad. we got little, we got the little uh, special ed kid here. We, we, we just like to make him, we just like to make him feel good. And um, well, this might be jumping ahead a bit, but one thing I really do appreciate about shows like this is when they e they immediately lay down the law, and they're like, okay, if you go against the established rules, like you're you're kind of screwing yourself over because spoilers they they complete the first part of that dungeon and they're like hey mm -hmm. it, we have all this loot but like well actually no wrong oh uh, they don't have a lot of loot they didn't get yeah. that much and like, well the dungeon's like it's not really going away or whatever and it's like oh hey uh there's a hole in the wall and it goes further and they're like huh weird we we beat the dungeon boss and normally that should be the end of it well um standard protocol says that we like don't go further and fucks with it but let's take a vote let's just let's just be a little lenient let's just be a little lenient here mm -hmm. and then uh it's six six and then uh with sung Jun woo's vote uh he votes to go in because he need he needed the money and then they go in and that was an awful mistake and i like that they get punished for it 
Like they they had a choice. They're like, okay, we know that we shouldn't go in further. But let's go find around. Let's like, go. Let's it's the go. second half of a D ranked dungeon. How difficult can it be? They they really they really pulled up the fuck around to find out chart. You know, in their defense, double dungeons are a known thing. They are no like it wasn't uncommon. It doesn't However, excuse the fact that they are complete idiots. Yeah, like okay, look, I I respect Sun Jin Woo's decision there because he's like okay, I like I need money here. I can't like I have to risk it. I risk my life every day. What's another risk? And everyone else is just like yeah, yeah, let's do it. yeah, let's just go yeah. Well, I mean, then, you know, uh, they're, 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 the, the the main thing of the others were like, oh, like, we need the money as well. You know, you have Park, yeah. uh, who is, you know, has a second child on the way, and that's why he had to come back. Which also, this is very small, but I liked uh, how the exposition on Sung Jin Woo being the weakest hunter was given naturally. Because Park is, like, in the same boat as the, the audience. It wasn't like uh, Sung Jin Woo walked in and, and Kim was like, oh, hey, how's the weakest hunter in the world going? You sure are weak being E ranked yeah. and weak. Ha <laughs> ha. But it was nice seeing everyone like treat him well. And then someone's like, is he that strong? Because, you know, that's a natural lead in. Like, oh my God, is he that good? And the natural, the natural response is to say, no, <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, no, he, he sucks. It, he explained a misconception and that let the viewer see like he's the weakest without it being shut it's not like the my hero x way of doing it of like huh, you you're worthless you're weak you have nothing you kill yours like it's not like that it's just like someone asked the question and they answered the question and it wasn't shoved in our face and then a lot more of it was more of his like internal monologue about it later yeah uh so we get to see him come in uh, we get to meet some of the party, get to meet uh, Jin Hu or Jun, Jun, Jun He. Ju He. Ju He. Dude, I was about to correct you. Fake I'm, fan. I am. A, I'm such a fake fan. I got, I'm terrible with these names. Like, I can, like, I'm, like, picturing characters, like, later in the story, and I cannot remember their name for the life of you me. Mean, like, I'm, you know everything about them. You know their social security number. You know where they go uh, to eat. You know what their favorite um, dumpster is. I know what they're doing right now, is. dog. I know what they're doing right now. Yeah, probably being dead. <laughs> fun fact. Fun <laughs> fact. Fun fact. I can't confirm whether you're correct or not. Fun fact. That's just that's just a little fun fact from you to me. A little, me little chilling. A little, little fun <laughs> from, fact. from you to me. Um, <laughs> I'm. This is the only Korean series I've ever read, and so Korean names do not come as naturally to me as Japanese names do. Even then Uber Japanese names are a little bit lost on me. Yeah. I have to I have to I have to hear them for a little bit. But some of them like like Kim and Park I can remember cuz that's it's Kim and Park. Uh you know, Kim is just a normal name. It's just it's a, it's a guy, you know. Um yeah, so we get to we get to see them. What are, we get to meet Juhi, and she's she's kind of cute. She's a little bit of a healer. She heals Jin Woo. We get to see them, and he's like hurt. He he get he gets a little uh, essence crystal. We get introduced to essence crystals and mana crystals. Uh, difference: essence crystals come from monsters and are more magically potent. Mana crystals are found in dungeons, um, and I think are more useful as an energy source as opposed to essence stones. Uh, I genuinely can't remember 100% of the semantics, but that's what I got from the episode. Uh, get introduced to Go Gun He, the chairman of the Hunters Association. Um, and we get to see that the party beats the uh, boss of the dungeon. Um, well, basically. hang on, hang on. The, there was one other thing that happened in between this. Uh, we, we had the, the woman jump scare where she uh, stopped someone from stealing a purse. We did, so we get to see. A What's dude her walks name? Up. Like Chai Chai Hien. Chai Hien. Chai Hien. I was close. Chai Hien. I don't know. I don't know. I, no, I don't say, say. Don't say Hien around me. I'm a JJK fan. Don't say that. Hey, do a rice farmers. <laughs> it's crazy. That's crazy. I need. I'm, I'm legitimately gonna watch the Korean dub just so I can know how to pronounce the names correctly. Oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, uh, some some girl gets her purse stolen by some guys on motorcycles, and then this S rank Ch Chahayan uh, is just around, and she like knocks them off the motorcycle, gets the purse, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's her!" And then she just leaves. 
I just wanted to point that out. I thought that was I yeah. thought that was a cool scene. And also, uh, I think we, the scene before it is important as well because we get to see some guy awakens as a new hunter, right? Whatever. We don't see what rank he is, uh, but he's walking out, and well, we see people in the hallway talking, and they're like recruiting people. And yeah. we see one guy's like one one rank beast signed up, two rank C's signed up. Uh, is that good, Guildmaster Choi? It's the guy we saw uh, earlier on the uh, on the little oh, island. Kakuin. Yeah, Kakuin. Is that? I'm gonna have to look that up. That, I mean, it kind of sounded like him. I can't lie. Um, and so Guildmaster, and there's a little he has a little label on with a logo, and then there's a building with a logo on it. That's crazy. I wonder what that could mean. I, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what that means exists in this world as to why people would recruit hunters. That's crazy. Um, uh, then we get to see, yeah, and and he's like the choice, like oh, you know, yada yada. Yeah, get get whoever you know doesn't matter. Just as long as they think they can be an hey, asset. Wait, wait, what's the? Hang on, hang on. What's the guy's name? Uh, the the one like that was like recruiting. Well, no, Choi Choi Choi. Was that his name? Yeah, I, I the fire remember. guy. I genuinely can't remember his whole name. Well, I'm, ter I'm terrible at, with the names. I'm terrible with the names. I looked it up, and I believe that it is uh, Kakuin's VA. Sick. That's sick. I'm gonna look up all the VAs after this to see what all they've done. Um, he's like, he's like, oh, but nothing, nothing compares to Chahayan. Uh And then, yeah, we 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 get to see, we we get to see her, and and she does a cool little flip, and 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 the, you know, some shots in anime are a little bit weird. You know, that's crazy how that works. Um, but then we get back to the main attraction, and that is, you know, they're deciding whether or not to go. They go in, uh, and then as they're going in, we get the little narration from Go talking to the newly awakened hunters, and he's like, "Hey, you know, yada yada, great to great to have you. You know, you might choose to become hunters, you might not, because if you awaken as a hunter, you don't have to become a hunter. It's just you get a ton of money for it. You know, you are risking your life, but it, it's it, it's there, there's a reason uh, Sung Jin Woo does it. It has the potential to get you a lot of money. It, um, yeah." Especially like a, good you reward. a lot of money like him and uh, he's talking he's like look whatever you do don't get stubborn don't get jaded always be afraid yeah yeah he's he's, he's like that's the number one rule all like always be afraid i think that's a great rule to have and then it immediately is juxtaposed with them walking in the room just being like oh hey let's just explore around and as great atmosphere being, in here is there not being the, afraid the giant blue cathedral like chamber where that the torches up. start glowing blue with blue fire. And then the one guy says, I'm out of here before he gets domed and loses a third of no, his no, body. No, no, First, they find the commandments. Oh, sorry. Revere God, praise God, love God, or else. And then Re no, it's domed. revere God, praise God, uh, show your faith to God or prove your semantics, faith to God. Semantics, semantics. Yada, 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 some others, because then Juhi's like, oh, no, the statue is looking at me. Like, okay, yeah. Looks at everyone, you idiot. You walked in front of it. You're so dumb. Uh, seriously, women, women, really be, women really be like that sometimes. I hate it. I hate it, honestly. The thing's staying forward and she's below it, Brandon. That's creepy if it's looking at her. No, dude. She literally walked in front of it, dude. All statues do that. It's whatever. Um... And then uh Sang Jin was like, Oh, you know, freaking we're 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 uh we're we're uh we're uh we're, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're uh, you know, he's like that. And uh Brandon. and then <laughs> I just remembered but we get to see uh Sang Jin Woo and her and they're like going back and forth earlier. Uh and he's like, Look, he's like, I'm sorry I voted and, and she's like she's like I'm, she said, You should worry about yourself. He said, You're the one who always dies like in an E rank thing. You know, maybe you can maybe you can make it up to me by uh, taking me out to eat sometime. And he's like, "Do what?" That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, and then they finish reading the commandments, and they say, "If you don't follow them, uh, rest in piss, bozo." And then the doors close, and they're like, "Uh oh." The guy walks forward, like you says, like it's like, "Look, I told y'all this was a bad idea. I'm getting out of here." And then he does, in fact, leave. He does in fact leave this mortal plane. He, he leaves upward. He doesn't. He doesn't go for. He goes. He goes. Uh, he goes upward or downward. I, I don't. I don't. I don't decide you know, that. Can't, yeah, I can't decide that. Uh, but yeah, he he, he dies uh, pretty he, gruesomely because the guy, one of the statues next to him, lifted up his axe and cleaved him in half. So that's not looking too good for means of escape. And then the rest of them are like, erm, So that just happened. And then Jinwoo looks at the statue, and he we get his little flashback. He has a flashback. Like, yeah. 
He's like, I've always almost dying. He said, I'm almost on the, I've always, I'm, all, I'm always on the brink of death. You know, this happened, this happened, this happened. Every single time I'm in, I have, I'm fighting for my life. So I got really good at looking for opportunities and, and like understanding like what's happening, right? Um, and so he sees the, the thing, look at him, uh, his, his eyes start to glow and he yells, everyone get down and shoots a laser across. Everyone jumps down, except for some who don't do it in time and they get cooked, literally. Uh, laser comes down shoots down the ground and then Dunwu looks up at it and it's like oh we're so dead and then the episode cuts and the intro plays my favorite K-pop song because I don't listen to K-pop yeah it's pretty good episode one kills me that it ends there kills me that it ends there uh, I, I need say, episode two right now I think like not a not as a criticism but I think that like for for a first episode, it feels like a really weird place to leave off on. Yeah, it would feel. I think that if it had the double first episode, like the forty-five. No, minutes, that's what I mean. It would like, feel I, a lot more natural, like just like with my thoughts of what next episode is going to be. Yeah, I, it well, would feel a lot more natural too. Well, because also think about it, right? Like I understand that not you know not every anime is going to get that kind of treatment. Not every anime needs that kind of treatment either. However, for something like solo leveling, that is the biggest manhwa apparently, like the fourteen quinbillion views uh, made more fourteen more billion dollars. Uh, it feels like something like that should have gotten the double uh, feature treatment where it should have had a 45 minute episode like like the fact that shield hero uh got one to be fair that was when it was good uh but like with that guy getting one over something like this just feels kind of weird yeah i mean you know it's i think whatever, a lot of animes whatever. do do a like a two episode first episode uh, like I know Mishoku Tensei did the first two episodes of Mishoku Tensei are essentially one big episode um, but also I think the first two episodes released at the same time mm -hmm. and so like like that's fine I mean that, yeah. if that's what they did it, it, it doesn't even need to be like a big 45 minute one but just to have to because you're you know it's kind of like a pilot if you will uh, and if you're doing that it feels like a, a pilot episode ending at a place like that is kind of strange like leaving off on a cliffhanger is fine but it feels like it leaves off on a moment that it shouldn't i don't know that, that, that's just how i feel like it's yeah, not, it, nothing... it feels like it leaves like like in the middle of something but like in a weird way yeah because i mean if something like this happened in a later episode like you know for seven episodes in and then oh no a few people died it's like oh, okay but for worse just for us trying to get used to like new viewers you know it feels weird having that be where they decided to end the episode off on i mean considering like it would have been weird to end it before or after so like the, it, it they ended off on an okay cliffhanger i just wish that we would have gotten that resolution more quickly yeah, yeah. I, I think mean, that's, that's not, entirely nothing fair. Against episode, nothing against the episode itself, or like this. It's not even like a. It's not even me being like angry at it. It's just like I wish we had it. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to talk about the whole thing. You know, together. Dude, me when you want to watch a series week to week. What, dude? That's crazy. <laughs> just at least having that. That's be crazy. What we get starting out and then it going weekly. I feel like that would make. Oh, that makes sense. It was probably a scheduling thing. I don't know. Ah, uh, no. But yeah, that's where I'm it very is. happy and with then... with the quality. You know, I can't complain about the quality of it. I think that um, this was good. It, every single anime before it comes out, people are like, "Oh, they look at the trailers. The, the animation quality is gonna suck." Yeah, right. This is that. Yeah, I I I said it whenever. I can't remember when I said it. I said it at some point, either on recording or to you, Kyle. Solo leveling prints money. Like, like if they do this anime right, like it is going to print money. You, yeah, you, I'm, I'm you gotta, you gotta put effort into it. Like, it's going to print money if for no other reason. It's the anime adaptation of the largest manual of all time. Um, second only to, second only to Squid Games, of course. Of course, dude. Love me some Squid Games. You know what? That is the only other time I have ever really been exposed to Korean names. Fun fact. 
same. Not like, aside from like unknowingly knowing the name, like unwittingly knowing the name Jungkook of BTS or whatever. I only know that because of memes. But yeah, Squid Game. That's the only other show I've had. It's Squid, interesting. Squid Games, Gun, uh, uh, Jun, Jungkook, and Solo Leveling. That's the Korean experience. That's the Korean experience right there. Korean media experience. What more could you want? Well, Kyle, unless you have anything else to say, I think I'll wrap us up here. Uh, I have nothing else to say other than I am looking forward to uh, this weekly experience. I feel like, you know, last season, right? If I had, if I had to compare these so far, right? Like watching Mishoku Tensei weekly, it's like a pretty, pretty high dining experience. Shield Hero weekly... And then this one weekly, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, so with all that said, if you're this one in the video, then obviously there's something you like. So make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling us what your favorite part of this episode was. Uh, remember to, uh, did I already say subscribe? I'm going to say subscribe again because we'll be following this uh, w weekly. So be sure to come back and, and say hi. Thank you all for watching. Certainly hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.